Hi. In Raza, you can use custom actions to store long-term information in a slot. However, often it's a lot more pragmatic not to use custom actions, but to use forms instead. Forms are a convenient way to ask the user for multiple values that you want to store in a slot in a structured way. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to add a basic form to a Raza Assistant. The main thing you'll want to do is go to your domain.yaml file, and you'll want to add two things. First of all, you want to add a form. A form has a name, followed by the slots that it needs to fill in. In this case, I'm saying that I want to record the first name and last name, and I'm also specifying how I want to record the information. I'm saying that I want to record it from text as opposed to from entities. Next, I also have to specify slots. And you'll notice that there is a correspondence between the variables in my form and the slots that need to be available. It's in this definition of my slots where I can specify the type of my slot. And here, because I'm recording the name, the type is simply just text. Now that this is given, I can move on to my rules. Because forms tend to be structured, it makes sense to implement them using rules. And there are two rules that you typically have to add for every form. You need to add a rule that will activate the form, and you will need to have another rule which will handle the deactivation of the form. The activation rule is saying, well, whenever we see this intent appear in our story, then I would like to trigger the name form action, and in particular, I would like to loop that. Forms are like actions in a conversation that exist in a loop. Looking at our domain.yaml file, you'll see that there are items in the form that we are requesting. And what this active loop is going to do is it's going to keep requesting for these items until they are all filled in. Finally, when all the values are filled in, then we are going to submit our form. The way that you should read this rule is that first we expect that there is a name loop active and in this loop we are running the current form but then there will be an event that tells us that the loop is no longer active followed by the event that we are no longer requesting a slot what's defined here is the set of conditions and events that occur when a form is getting deactivated this is how we can recognize that all the values of the form have been filled in. So that means that these two events are going to be the actions that will be taken once the form is done. So that means that this top part is handled by Raza, and this bottom part will be our response to a form being filled in. And if you go to the domain.yaml file, you'll notice that I indeed have these utter commands defined other submit will just say thanks, and other slot values will tell the user that we know their first name and their last name. So let's give this a quick spin by running Raza Interactive. Raza Interactive is now loaded, so let's have a small conversation with it. I just said hello, which correctly got picked up as greeting. But one thing to pay attention to, which is nice about the Raza interactive environment, is that we also see the available slots and their values. So when we activate the form, we should start seeing that these slots get filled in. Let's say that I want to give my name now. Notice at this point in the conversation that we are in an active loop and that the requested slot equals first name. So the form is able to ask what we're interested in. So let's type Vincent. Technically, it's not detecting the right intent over here, but I'm just gonna go along with it for now. We see that the name form action is currently running as I give this response over here. And we now see that this slot has been set as an event and that we are now asking for the last name afterwards. So I can now say that my last name is Vincent McVincent. And now you can see that the requested slot 
equals null because we are at the end of the form and also that the active loop is now turned off. And the reason is that the form is now filled in because both slots have been set. We now see that Raza wants to trigger other submit and the other slot values command. So there you have it. We are now filling in slots using Raza forms.